Welcome back everyone. I just got my Fleur 58 um, box screen through the post, uh, actually from a friend from the US. Um, haven't used it yet, uh, it basically just came in the basic packaging, uh, bubble wrapped and I'm just going to show you the difference between the Flare one and just a generic one that I got from basically Taobao. Um, haven't used it as I said so there is a difference that you can see this one I've used probably about 10 times um, so unfortunately I don't have a, sh a video of or a shot of it when I first bought it um, so you can see there is a difference in the color I'll come back to this probably in about a month or a few weeks time um, when I've used this for well quite a few shots and see if the color changes um, the pattern it is slightly different if it'll focus um, so let's see if I can focus both of them So, quick look with the torch. You know when. See how much. Oops. Doesn't let much light in, which is good. Doesn't look very even. This part seems to be a bit more dense. Let's try the fur. Not a very scientific test, but it looks like the flare is slightly more even. See. Okay, so let's try and pour a shot with uh, this new puck screen. Um, haven't dialed it in, this was dialed in yesterday, so I'm not quite sure. Means I have uh, from a uh, from Redback, this has been roasted to light. The machine wise, uh, as you know, I have an E1 primer. Uh, so I've set it to six bars, 18 gram shot. Give it a quick tap, just to get the grounds off. Then you have to WDT a little bit. My Legom actually grinds to the right side of the porter filter. So I'm not quite sure how to do that, figure that one out yet. So if anyone knows, uh, please let me know why it's grinding to the right side. Just distribute it a little bit. So there you go, hopefully it looks okay. And then the flare 58, we're just still gonna stick that on top like this. Just gonna flush it. manual version. Okay, so just take it out. As you can see from it's pretty clean. There's a little bit on it on this side. Let's see how clean it comes out. So a little tap. This comes out quite easily. This is already coming out of the puck. And that's the screen. 
So even with the generic uh, puck screen, it was still giving us just as clean. So this one, you just give a quick wipe with a towel, and you put your next shot. So definitely, uh, whether you get a Flare 58, I'll leave a link below um, to all the puck screens that I know of. Uh, there is the Flare one, which I guess is the most famous one. And there's the Nomcore one. Uh, this one I purchased from them, the Tampa. So I haven't got their uh, puck screen yet. Uh, or you can go for a generic version which is like this but it'll be interesting to see the color difference in a couple of weeks when I've used this about 10-15 times see whether it goes darker thanks everyone for watching if you think the video has been helpful please consider giving me a like and subscribe it will help uh, a lot and I'll leave a few more videos on the left uh, for you to watch thank you and take care.